This is the review of the long-weighted Tesla shutter mode adapter. So here it is. It's a big freaking adapter. So first, I'm going to explain what shutter mode is. So you see, um, <coughs> for uh, smaller cars like Nissan Leaf and uh, BMW i3 and uh, what else? Uh, yeah, the Peugeot i1 and those uh, cars. They can use uh, DC fast charging. Uh, I have another video when I explain the difference between AC and DC charging and all that. I mean, if you want to know, then check it out. Anyway, so for DC charging, <coughs> Shademo is, uh, yeah, it was the fastest uh, charging uh, station until uh, Tesla came with a supercharger. And um, those cars, they use the Shadamo. Uh It's this one, yeah, this is the Shadamo plug, you see it's freaking huge. I think I can even fit my fist in here. Yeah, that's how huge it is compared to the Type 2. So, um, yeah, <coughs> this one enables Tesla to charge us those uh, uh, fast, uh, fast chargers. Yeah, semi-fast I would say, but uh, still pretty fast. And... Um, you can find them pretty much, uh, yeah, everywhere now. They're they're they're, they're coming. So I think Japan has the highest density of the Shadamo chargers. So the the chargers, um, yeah, the, it's a it's like a big box with um, it has chargers like like similar to what you have in the car, you know. And it probably has some uh, maybe has some trend, um, what you call it the the, the thing that uh, transform. Uh, voltage uh, and yeah so everything is usually bundled in one big big box and um, what else is it to say about the shadow mode chargers yeah um, anyway <laughs> what you probably are dying to know is how does it work and what kind of speed do you get uh, this one with the shadow mode you get uh, about 200 kilometers of charging or um, 130 miles per hour uh, that's that is typical, of course, not the rated one. So uh, there's almost no point to talk about typical. I mean, yeah, it's no almost no point to talk about rated range because it's uh, not realistic. But you get 200 kilometers per hour, or um, about 40 40 kilowatt. So the that, here's a, a thing I noticed because uh, the way the standard works is that. Um, uh, Chademo is limited to what well, this one actually it actually says here on the on the adapter that uh, this one is limited to uh, 450 volts uh, 125 amp so uh, Chademo standard goes up to I think 100 kilowatt it's not common yet I mean the, the standard is there uh, most of the chargers I drive in Norway uh, deliver about 40 ish uh, kilowatt so this adapter will work with the 40, I mean the the, the, the 50 kilowatt standard, and um, <coughs> it has a limitation on the number of amps. So uh, you know, the voltage on a low battery is low, and then it goes up as you charge it. So that means that um, when you arrive with a with a low battery, you get actually lower uh, power. So you get like maybe 37 kilowatt and then as you charge up to the maximum which is I mean the maximum power for a Chademo is about 80 kilowatt I mean sorry it's about 80 percent at 80 percent you get the maximum which is about 45 44 kilowatt and this is for the 81 no, 85 kilowatt hour battery if you have the 60 kilowatt hour battery car you uh, get less because the voltage on that one is lower so uh, you get about 10-15% um, less, yeah. <coughs> and um, hmm, yeah, the way you do it is that um, when you want to charge, you plug it in. You have to plug in this uh, big fat end first. And uh, let me explain to you. You see, uh, uh, it has two big connectors. That's probably where the the DC power goes. And then these connectors are. Uh, for communication, for handshake, you set up, set up the the charging, uh, you know, negotiate stuff, and uh, wow, this looks like a freaking bazooka! Holy shit! Anyway, you also see there's a small uh, uh, notch here and there. So this this plug, 
the other end in, in the charging station it can only uh, you know go on one way as so you can't if you flip it around it won't go in there yeah and then you also see that there are some locks there let me see there there see there uh, there and the plug will lock while it's charging so you can't just pull it out yeah so uh, that's it uh, I actually heard that this one has uh, it has a firmware or a software inside the adapter uh, it's pretty advanced stuff you can actually update the, the firmware yeah but it probably has to do, do it in the service station so um, um, yeah and um, yeah oh, oh by the way of course if you don't if you're not aware of it uh, if I mean this one since it is DC charging the DC charging go, goes directly into the car's battery it bypasses the onboard charger so which means it doesn't matter if you have a single charger or dual charger in a car it will still charge at 200 kilometers or 130 miles per hour so that's a good thing of course <laughs> for those who didn't get the dual chargers uh, and then yeah now about the experience with the, the adapter so um, many people they didn't get the dual charger and uh, they uh, say that this one will uh, kind of it will be a, a substitution for it will make up for the dual charger it is partly true because um, yeah many times uh, I mean you you will always want to prefer the highest charging speed if you have supercharger then you, know, you want to go for that one if supercharger is not available where you are then you probably want to go for Chadamo if it's available if the Chadamo is occupied if it's broken if it's not uh, available there then second best I mean third best uh, choice is um, 22 kilowatt AC charging and um, yeah so if you have dual charger you will uh, be able to utilize that if not then you're stuck with 11 kilowatt so um, in my opinion it's always nice to have you know, everything uh, in case you don't have Chadamo or something yeah uh, actually I think the Tesla they should have quad chargers because <laughs> quad charger would be faster than Chadamo uh, well, I think it will be faster. It depends on the efficiency and all that. But uh, the thing with the quad charger is that you can actually get f uh, 43 kilowatt already from the bottom, whereas the Shadow Mall will be limited to you know, 37, and then even worse for the 60 kilowatt hour battery. So um, uh, yeah. So uh, pricing. I forgot to mention the pricing. That's also very important. This one in Norway cost uh, about 3,500 kroner. It was initially uh, announced for uh, 7,000 kroner, which is a lot. 3,500 kroner is about um, 400 euros or uh, much is that? some 500 dollars. <coughs> so it's not expensive at all compared to the dual charger, which costs three times more. Another thing now is that the dual charger is not available on new cars. When you order it, you <laughs> you can't order the dual charger anymore. You have to get the retrofit. So that's a bit unfortunate. I asked the Tesla guys, they confirm it. It's, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Uh, I think they want to, mm, they said they will uh, simplify uh, the process of ordering a Tesla. So, yeah, I don't know, but um, anyway. So back to topic, uh, yeah, that's the price. Uh, so if you, I guess, my advice is that if you need to save money when you buy a car, uh, yeah, you could. Um, uh, well, now, 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 you can't choose dual charge anyway, but um, you can't retrofit it it will they say Tesla say that they will reduce the price maybe they will even reduce the price so it is the same price as before when you order it with a car but it's still more expensive than this one and this another advantage that this one has beside the faster speed is that you don't know your needs yet uh, when before you get the car especially before you get the car uh, so 
you could buy the car. I mean, when you get the car, you can buy this one and try it out. And maybe in half a year, you find out that uh, you don't need it, and then you can just sell it. It's different with a uh, if you had dual charger. If you fit it in there, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> you're not gonna remove it. So and that's good. That's good for the um, this one. And also another good thing is that you can always borrow it for your friends. I I. I, uh, I mean, you can lend it to your friends, and I borrowed it from uh, someone, so that's always cool. So, unlike dual chargers, you can't just borrow it. I want the quad charger for the weekend. Can I borrow it? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so, I like it. I mean, yeah, mm, I like the charger. Uh, oh, shit, what was that the garbage car? Huh. Oh, anyway, uh, the disadvantage, though, is that... Um, uh, because this one is the fastest possible uh, charging for um, smaller cars, they um, at least when I tested it out, it happened several times that uh, the Chodima charging stations were occupied by uh, Leafs and uh, smaller cars. Yeah, uh, so that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, usually, you know those uh, those new um, charging stations. There, it's like a combo station. It has a Shadomo, this one, and a, it has a smaller one, uh, um, a combo plug a CCS. It looks like this one, and it has some uh, extension and stuff. Uh, those are the DC plugs that work with uh, your yeah, DC char. Holy oh, shit! That car is freaking loud. So, anyway, I will try to speak loud now, and. Um, <clears throat> And also they have a, a third option, which is the 43 kilowatt AC. For now, today, only Zoe can utilize 43 kilowatt, the, the, the full effect. But uh, Teslas can utilize 22 kilowatt, which is good. So um, those charging stations, they are like, we call it like duplex or whatever. If someone is using the DC part, the Chadmo or the, um, the combo, then uh, someone else can use the AC simultaneously. That is good. Uh, Shademo, if someone is using this one and someone else is trying to use the combo, the CCS, it doesn't work because uh, the the charge is already occupied, the DC part, but the AC part is always free. So that's another advantage for the dual charger again. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was one of the disadvantages with this one. Uh, but this problem might only be uh, an issue in Norway because uh, we have so many freaking electric cars here. And again, um, if you come at odd times in the evening, at night, it is less likely that it will be occupied. I mean, it's, um, it's not a, that big of an issue. And um, I look at the map and uh, the, the, the Shadomo chargers uh, seem to be... I mean, it's a lot in, uh, in Norway, for example. There are lots of Shadomo chargers. Uh, I get the impression that there's actually more Chadmo sites than um, Type 2, uh, 22 kilowatt sites. On the other hand, those are the sites on the location, but uh, many locations, they only have one of these uh, Chadmo chargers. And um, the Type 2, because they are much cheaper, they cost about one-tenth of a Chadmo. Uh, a Chadmo station costs like uh, 100,000 euros or something to install, whereas uh, uh, Type 2 AC only cost you know, uh, less than 10,000, maybe, yeah, maybe even 5,000 euros. So, uh, anyway, so that means that um, on each location you will have a higher chance that um, the Type 2 will be available. Another disadvantage is that. Uh, because the price is so high to you know, whoever wants to install this, they uh, need to uh, charge you for, for the use. And um, for instance, in Norway, uh, if you charge at 22 kilowatt AC, it will cost one krona per minute. Uh, one krona is about, uh, what is it, uh, it's about seven, 60, 60 cent euros. Or about uh, 70 cents. Um, wait, is my math off now? Yeah, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna give you, um, just to give you a point, I mean, one minute costs one kroner, Norwegian kroner in Norway, for the for the 22 kilowatt. If you use the, the Chadamo, 
it costs 250 which is two and a half times more and as I experienced the average power you get from it it's not two and a half times faster it's uh, less than two times actually uh, averaging about 40 kilowatt so um, you get more bang for the bucks if you use the AC part and if you have time uh, but uh, if you really want a fast charging then of course Chadamo is better uh, then there's another problem uh, about the charge I mean about the pay payment because in Norway we have uh, I don't know how many we have we have um, many different uh, companies that install Shadamo um, uh, chargers uh, we have Fortum Fortum uh, I actually have one of those chips yeah this is the uh, Fortum uh, charge and drive RFID when I want to charge I just bloop, use this one to open it and uh, uh, Fortum will send me a bill afterwards and then you have uh, Grön Kontakt and you have East House Bayen and EV Power and uh, I don't know but uh, there's like you know a handful of uh, different companies and the problem is that uh, they don't accept credit card there's no uh, credit card payment or whatever there so you need usually you need to have some kind of um, pre like um, uh, we call it. Man, you have to register beforehand and get a chip or uh, an app or something to use it. So that's a big hassle. I felt it was a big hassle for me because when you enter a site, you want to charge. You don't want to like, oh shit, do you have that one? Do you have this subscription? So it would be better if they kind of you know gathered everything and made one standard for the for the country, even for for a whole of Europe, then the Shademo uh, charging would be a lot, lot better. Uh, when it comes to the Type 2 again, the 22 kilowatt Type 2, because they are so inexpensive, companies that install them, uh, even you know, shopping malls or whatever, they usually give them away for free, uh, many places, and that's good. So, um, But then again, it's lower. So there's always this you have to configure, I mean, consider what what is the best, do you need it, and all that. So, yeah, but I think all in all, I tested it out uh, in two weekends now, and um, I think it's uh, it's good. And uh, we are actually going on a road trip uh, this uh, Easter. And, uh, I don't know, if I, would, if I could borrow this one for the road trip, the Europe road trip, that would be great. Because I saw last year, we actually charged at the Chatham charger last summer. Uh, on the way to Paris and <laughs> back in the days there we only had we had the 26 amp limitation so it means the car could only get 18 kilowatt or about 80 kilometers per hour if we had this one last year we could charge at 200 kilometers per hour so we were stuck on that gas station halfway to Paris for about uh, four hours four freaking hours if you had this one we could get away after one and a half hours you know just just a little lunch and then off we go so uh, all in all I think this uh, adapter is uh, it's great uh, it's not that expensive and also it's fairly small uh, it seems to be sturdy and you know you could there could also be updates for it oh yeah oh, oh I have to mention something though I almost forgot I also did try some ABB chargers, some of the old ABB chargers, and um, I think they were a bit buggy and stuff, so <laughs> yeah, at one of them, and the one in Bergen, Fyllingsdalen, I uh, only received 70 to 80 amps, which uh, equals to about 25 to 30 kilowatt, and that's slightly faster than uh, 22 kilowatt uh, AC. And even worse, in um, Voss, I was also an ABB charger, pretty old one and uh, also a bit buggy I uh, only received about 16 to 20 kilowatt so they uh, they said that they, it's um, it's there's something wrong with it so uh, you could uh, sometimes uh, get, you know get stuck with a with a slow charger but as long as there are those uh, <laughs> that's one of my co-workers <laughs> oh what the heck oh, no 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 I have to tell him I'm doing a video here what? Yo! Hello! Yo! 
Hi. I log in video. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I'm gonna be a funny. This is like uh, a friend of Tesla Bjorn. Uh, I'm driving an Opel, so <laughs> I'm gonna make some videos. All right. <laughs> yeah. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and everything. Oh yeah. Woo! Opel Tigra. Okay. Opel Tigra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a bit uh, off topic. Okay, wow, this is a long one. And again, yeah, I'm talking about the video, not the adapter. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up soon. So again, this adapter is great. It has some limitation, um, but all in all, I would say, yeah, get it. If you uh, if you know that you are traveling somewhere, if with um, charger mode then get it and I see that more and more charger mode charging stations are coming out now so um, th th there's only one I think yeah another, another problem it's not a, that big of a problem I think uh, is that uh, I've heard that the charger mode plug is uh, might be uh, like uh, deprecated soon so which means it will be replaced by the much smaller and uh, I think it, yeah the, this combo the CCS plug I think that's it's a uh, an it's like approved a new standard for um, the EU at least so um but then again existing uh, charging stations they will not replace this plug it will still be there but I guess maybe on new ones it's a requirement that it has the combo CCS plug and uh, as far as I know, I haven't seen any of those uh, new charging stations with, without the Chanimo plug. So, but then again, in one, one day, this plug could be gone. It's freaking huge. Yeah. But uh, that's in a long time, maybe 10 to 20 years, and we know. So uh, it's not really an issue. So uh, would I get this? Um, uh, I like it, uh, but um, I usually travel on places where I have superchargers, and superchargers hands down a lot better, yeah. But, um, mm, well, I mean, it's not that expensive. When I heard about the initial price, of, uh, almost 7,000 krona, that was too much, yeah. Uh, 3,500, mm, it's getting there, but uh, I guess... Maybe if someone would sell this uh, second hand for uh, 2,000 krona, about uh, uh, two, uh, 250 euros, 300 dollars. Uh, or maybe even if Tesla reduced the price, uh, then I would probably get it. Because, well, you have seen, I have those adapters. In my opinion, it's always best to have all the adapters available so you can always pick the highest charging uh, speed because you never know whenever when you need it and um, you know if you can uh, charge for uh, one hour instead of two hours or even four hours then I would probably think that uh, your wife and your kid will appreciate that yeah try to tell them that you have to be stuck somewhere four hours yeah mm-hmm uh, so I think this is uh, this is a pretty good uh, life saver, uh, marriage saver. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, so uh, it's great. Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't know if you guys have any uh, questions, comment about this, then uh, feel uh, free to ask me.